Step one is to obtain the disposable components for the striker monitoring system, which include a saline syringe, the pressure coupler, and the pressure housing, which you verify that it has proper battery power by turning on and checking that the monitor does show some readings. Verify that your needle is a side port needle. Here's the end port and here's the side port. The next step is the assembly of the disposable components. Start with your syringe. Maintain sterility of the end of the syringe. Place the coupler onto the syringe, followed by the side port needle. Again, maintain sterility of the needle. Do not contaminate the fluid pathway as of yet. Next step is to align the disposal components into the sensor monitoring. In this step, you're going to place the coupler into the sensor well and be sure that the syringe flanges line up flat with the sensor such that it, the door will shut cleanly on the monitor. This is an example if the flanges of the syringe are not collinear with the device. You can see that the pressure coupler has trouble sitting in the well and of course the door on the machine will not close due to the flange mismatch. The next step is purging the air from the pressure sensing system. This will be done by depressing the, the syringe at a 45 degree angle and allowing all the air bubbles to come out of the pressure coupler and the syringe. Avoid water tracking back down or sailing back down along the syringe into the sensor. Here's a close-up view of the air being purged from the pressure sensing system in, and the syringe. The next step, with your device in the on position, you'll zero at the angle of intended insertion, as done here. Verify in the monitor window that indeed the device is close to zero. That you would prep the skin and then determine a, your dominant hand which will use non-sterility to control the device and your non-dominant hand which you will maintain sterility in order to palpate the compartment prior to insertion. This is a close-up view of zeroing the device. You can see the device in the on position. and verify the device goes to zero. The next step is placement of the needle into the compartment. With your sterile hand, you will remove the needle covering. You've already prepped this area out. You'll palpate the compartment you tend to check first. Again, you will maintain your angle of insertion to what you zeroed at and place the needle into the compartment. You should feel two areas of resistance are popping one is the skin and dermis, the second should be the actual fascial component. Once you have placed the needle into the appropriate depth, you will inject 0.3 cc's into the compartment to establish a fluid column. It also sometimes is helpful to carefully back the needle out a millimeter to make sure again there's no plugging of the side port or the end of the needle. You allow the device to equilibrate and check your reading at the monitor readout. It's important to allow stabilization of the fluid column to get appropriate reading. You then can verify your transducing from the compartment by gently palpating on the compartment and seeing the appropriate pressure bump. Here's just an example of palpating the compartment, the appropriate pressure change in the monitor. After you've obtained your reading, you will need to check multiple readings within the same compartment as close to the fracture as possible and then you also check all four compartments also multiple readings.